Welcome back to Night in the Woods. It's time for our second band practice. Gonna head out to band practice. Alright, let's hope I do better this time. Hope I do a lot better. Alright, kids. I gotta head out soon. Where are you going? Family stuff. Oh, okay. Just for a night. Okay, we doing this? Yeah, let's do this. Wait, I, I don't know the song. Like, at all. And I barely remember how to play bass. You'll be fine. I completely will not be fine. Zero self-confidence, huh? No, I just don't know the song. You stupid jerks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Weird Autumn. New song. a hell of a lot better than my last attempt. I mean, I've never tried that song before, but like the last time I did band practice, wow, that was bad. That was okay. It was decent. Yeah, that was okay. Not bad, considering I don't know the song. Weird Autumn. Rip my bass playing on the one on the left. So is this our audience? Good practice. Was it? Eh. Thanks. That, that's germ, right? Hey, hey, duder. Think he's leaving for the night? Yeah. Gonna be bored. Or rather, I would be if I didn't have plans. Plans? Crimes. Ooh, crimes. You up for some crimes? Hmm. Uh, might be hanging out with B. Let me check first. Cool, let me know. You want to do something tonight? Um, I promise it'll be an improvement on last night. What were you thinking of doing? Uh, hmm. Want to go to the mall? The mall? Yeah, Fort Lucena. Like you did, like we did when we were kids. When's the last time you were at the Fort Lucene Mall? Is it Lucena or Lucena? I think Lucena. Uh, I don't know. Five years ago. Yeah. Uh, what? <laughs> it's not there anymore, is it? You know what? Yeah, let's go. It's totally not there anymore, is it? Great. Yep. Great. I promise it'll be great. Okay. We sure we're doing this? Uh, let me check with Greg real quick. Okie doke. That was pretty loud. Is that good? Loud's fine. 
You offer some crimes? Mm. Oh, I thought I'd have to like tell him specifically that like, hey, I'm doing something with B. But I guess not. All right, let's go. Glad I didn't puke in here. Me too. Maybe I just never drink again. Or maybe you just take it easy next time. I don't know if I do moderation well. I could see that. I think the term is risk-taking behavior. Are you seeing someone about this? Hanging with you is working pretty well tonight. No pressure. I should be getting paid by the hour. I got gum. I'm going to turn on the radio now. Old Gods the Fort Lucena Mall. Fort Lucena! Wait, so it's, it is here. It must have changed, though, given the way B was talking about it. Oh my god. Yep. What the hell happened? Uh, the internet? We had the internet when we used to come here. What happened to the carousel? Sold it, I guess. Who buys a carousel? Nobody who comes here. What happened to the bookstore? Also the internet. What happened to the arcade? I'm going to make a sign that says the internet and hold it up until you're done asking. What happened to internet? <laughs> so the place is still up, but I guess there's just not many places left in it. Everything on sale forever. And yet Dollar Empire is still here. I think this is one thing the internet can't compete with. I used to go in here when I was a kid. You can get an eraser for a dollar. A pencil for a dollar. That actually doesn't sound like a good deal. Oh god, you're right. Oh my god. The U-Rev is still here. <laughs> yep, this old thing. I can feel the edginess from here. Just looking in there makes me feel old. Oh, is that like, what is it, a hot topic? We are so gonna do this. There's no way I'm going in there. We're going in there, aren't we? <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Holy sh crap. I'm 14 again. Yep, pretty nuts in here. Hey, isn't that... Shut up. Hey ladies. Hello lady. Just so you know, we have 20% off select t-shirts. Ooh, t-shirts. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Catch you later. Alright. <laughs> nice. Dead Party Boy stickers in 2017? I think they're back in. Hmm. That's cool. I bet you listen to them. Um, yeah, they're good. Yeah, if you're 30 years old and sad, I'm getting there. Hmm. Wow, I haven't seen belt buckles in a while. At least, not fashionable ones. Mike at the shop has one with a rattlesnake driving a semi truck. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Do what? Cover me. I'm gonna grab one. What? No. Shh. You are not doing this. Uh, May? So, you're really going to do this? Shh, be cool. Uh... I don't... I don't think that's a good idea. Um... Do I have a choice, though? 
Uh, this isn't my first time doing crimes. What other crimes have you done? Choplifting. <laughs> Vandalism. Piracy. Choplifting again, now. Anyway, I just do the easy crimes. How is this stupid idea easy? Our eyes evolved to notice movement. Like dinosaurs? If the dinosaur is moving. Wait, that's not... Ah, never mind. So as long as you're perfectly still when the clerk is watching... Like, you're gonna freeze when she looks over? Even if you're in the middle of putting it in your pocket? And this is gonna work because... Dinosaurs? Just, like, dinosaurs. I'm gonna pretend to not know you until you're done, okay? Oh god, the, <laughs> the paw is all shaky. Ma'am, can I help you? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Uh, can I abort? Hold Y to save and quit. No, I don't. Uh, do I have to do this? Wow. I, I think I have to do this. Huh. It's interesting. You know, this game... It has quite a bit of exploring in it, but at the same time, I think it's very much because of what they're trying to do with, uh, like, the story and, and the character of May. They're kind of railroading you into doing these, obviously, poor life decisions, like, I had to drink a bunch of alcohol and get super drunk at the party. I had no choice in that, because that's just, that's May. That's how May is. That's what May was going to do. And same with this. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, just, it's interesting. Okay, um... Just don't move when they're looking. It's my pocket. It's going into my pocket. Sweet. Jesus Christ, May. Okay, are you done? Oh yeah. Shut up and let's get out of here. Oh yeah, sweet belt buckle I am never ever going to wear. Rubs against my stomach. This is bad, May. You should steal something now. Pardon? Haven't you ever done, like, any crimes? I mean, yeah, I guess, hasn't everyone? Well, get back in there, champ. What? No. Beatrice, let me lay this out. Oh, is that their full name, Beatrice? If their full name is Beatrice, then... Yeah, actually, their name would be pronounced Bia, right? Or are just cutting off the trees part? Beatrice. I'm still gonna call him B though. One, the security cameras aren't even on in there. Two, the cashier clearly isn't paying attention. Three, there's not one mall cop here as far as I can tell. I don't know, I mean... Hmm. B, this is an experience. Have it. I'll run interference. Okay, but I'm blaming you and driving away if I get caught. Perfect. This is not a good idea! Alright, I'm gonna run interference while you do your thing. What do you mean? I'm gonna distract the clerk. I can do this. Okay, I will admit that drawing attention is a talent you have. I'm great at crimes. But what if I get caught? You won't. I'll just start screaming if I have to. How is that a good idea? Let's go. Okay, but if this goes wrong, I'm blaming you. Join the club. Hey. Uh-huh. I've got a question. T-shirts are 20% off. Yeah, I saw. I was wondering about something else. Okay. The name of the store. Yeah? <laughs> you probably get this question a lot. Try me. Uh... Is it like you for the... You revolution or like your revolution? You know, 
No one ever asks this, but I think about it all the time. I bet. God. You know what the official business name on our checks is? You Revolution Radical Youth Culture Uprising Inc. Oh god, youth? U-T-H? Youth? That's really dumb. Oh god, I know. Like, guys, can't we just be a store that sells cool shit to teens? Yeah, teens go nuts for this shit. Employee discount is also pretty great. I had a job once. Had a 100% discount. <laughs> um... Uh-huh. When I stole shit... Uh, May? No, I got what you meant the first time. I bet you grab things all the time. Well, they're big into prosecuting to the fullest extent of the law here, so... Okay, I'm done looking, let's go. It was nice talking to you, bye now. Uh, see ya. Why did I do that? You did so well, B. I call the cops on shoplifters. Shoplifters at my own store. This. What did you get? Some kind of necklace thing? Nice, nice. Oh god. Forget it, we're home free. Really? Yeah, we're like out in open waters now. I feel kind of sick. Let's walk it off. Yeah, God, May is not a good person. They're not a good person and they're pressuring their friends into being not good people. Oh, May. Uh, I can't jump, so I guess I can't go up the stairs. Wow, I completely forgot about this giant fish head. Oh my god, I loved her. Did you ever come to the summer days thing here? Yeah, I did like squirt people. I still have no idea how they did that. I always assumed it was some guy in there with a squirt gun. No, it was totally a fountain they tricked out to squirt people. That's amazing. <laughs> you know the walkway way up there? Past the upper food court thing. Up in the atrium? The what? The, the ceiling. The glass part that points up. Yeah? When I was a kid, I thought that that's where God lived. Wow. I don't know, just remember staring at it when I was a kid. Like, eating a burger. Trying to see if I could see God. Like, peeking over or something. Looks like they've got some weird hanging art up there now. Want to go up and see? Nah. My knees are killing me from work. You up for eating? Let's check out the rest of them all first. Work up an appetite. I was kind of hungry when we got here. Shh, shh. We'll come back. Book Rook. Vibes. We're not going to steal from this store too, are we? Well, this should be good. wonder what kind of... Oh, come on. There's no one working the counter. Oh, wow. Hello? Anyone here? Jeez. This is bleak. This is like something out of a failed state or something. What's that? Or, what's that, rather? When you make a country and it doesn't work out. So, like this country? <laughs> Jeez, ruins. Let's see what they've got. Honky Tonk Armageddon. Club a girl rolling hard on that E? Oh, E. At this rave, remixes. Jeez, that's cute. What does that mean? Someone's very excited to be out on a school night. Is it drugs? It is drugs. 
Oh, hey, it's that band. What band? You know, you remember this song? Had that video that people posted like a zillion times? I have literally no idea what you're talking about. It had that weird horse in it. Oh, yeah, I remember. It had a weird horse in it. Oh, God, yeah, that horse was old. <laughs> I remember. Yep, we've officially remembered that video. And there's the exit. Alright, let's go eat. I just have one question though. Where exactly are we going to buy food from? Let's eat. Okay. I expected more excitement. Mall food court dinner. Oh, what a feeling. See, it wasn't hard. What did you get? You inhaled it before I got a look. Pizza taco from Gopher. <laughs> or a pierogi burger from Smelter Burger. Eh, pizza taco. Go for some good garbage food. Yeah, I wish we'd get one in town. Oh, that'd be bad for me. It'd be worth it. What does that mean? Raining? Cloudy? Are they depressed? What? Remember when Kathy Domingo pulled out Cindy Clark's nose ring here? Oh, God. You know what that was about, right? Wasn't Kathy pregnant with, uh, what was his name? Football guy. Ron Boonstra. I didn't know you knew about that. Well, I mean, there was the first football game of our senior year, and Ron ran up to the sideline and yelled at the stands, My first touchdowns for my beautiful firstborn and his mommy, Kathy Domingo. That's... something. Kathy was in marching band, and she was crying, I think. And then he dumped her for Cindy a week later. Oh, yeah, see, that's the part I know about. That's what set off the whole nose ring situation. Wonder what happened. Wonder what Kathy's up to now. Well, last year Ron had this ATV accident, and somehow Kathy and him got to talking after that, and they got married. Huh? Yeah, Ron's parents set them up out in a double wide out in Brittle. Since Kathy refused to end up in Possum Springs. Brittle's like 15 minutes away. You know what the worst part of the story is? Uh, Cindy having something ripped out of her face? At the time I was like, God moves things around in the strangest ways to bring two people together. I don't know if I even believe in God. Same, really. Thinking about this place, the fountain, and the god walkway and stuff. Not knowing how something worked used to seem like magic. Now not knowing means it might be going wrong and I might not be able to fix it. Help knowing someone else was at the controls, you know? Now I'm just tired all the time from the shop. When I was at school... Yeah? I don't even want to talk about it. What happened, anyway? You want to run around the mall some more? Uh, there's not really much else to run around. Well, we can check out the weird bad art upstairs. I want to touch it. Please don't. I want to run. You run. I'm going to sit here. I'm tired and sad now. Suit yourself. Oh, yes, I can jump on the art. <laughs> oh, I love it. Space 4, The Rock's Cosmic. 
Installation by Rorford Gims. Sponsored by Dollar Empire. Caution, do not stand on the art. That's my hint, that I should stand on the art. I love the sound it makes. What's this? Oh wow. Is this... <laughs> Fantastic. Whoa, hey. What are those? What are all the purple or uh, blue things walking around? Oh, if I press this button, it makes it squirt. Am I trying to squirt people? <laughs> Are these just supposed to be normal people going around the mall? Because it really didn't look like there's like there very many people before. I have no idea how to aim. I don't even know if you can. Oh, I see how to aim. Oh yeah, and you can actually- oh wow, you can actually aim it even more than I thought. You can like, charge it up to make it go further. Beatrice Santello! <laughs> Don't give them our names. Beatrice Jones! <laughs> oh wow, is that you, God? Yes it is, I, God Stevenson. I didn't know you had a last name. Silence, mortal. Through my fish monster I have lain waste to your kind. I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty magical. Silence, I shan't say it again. You and your... Good and noble companion shall get ice cream on the way home. <laughs> yeah, we should probably get out of here. Before you're arrested. The cops shall be confused and stuff and beat each other up. For I am God and I hate the cops. Okay, okay, get down here. Have a good one, mortal. Because it's not sticking it to the man. The man isn't going to lose anything here. But she will get in a lot of trouble. She's just a cog in a much bigger machine, huh? Sure, whatever. Just return the shit. Okay, okay, I'm going. Uh, am I just gonna admit that I stole it? Hi. Hello. You're back. Yeah, we stole some shit. Here is that shit. We don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. It's not your fault the world is like it is. What? You stole this. You're just a cog in a much bigger machine. To blame you would be like blaming a thing inside a, a whole thing. <laughs> you're very eloquent, May. So you're returning stolen merchandise. One day folks like you are going to overthrow the whole thing. What whole thing? The whole thing. We're leaving. Stay strong, you beautiful dreamer. You have nothing to lose but your chains. What? This place used to be something. I mean, it's still something. Nah, just a big, mostly empty thing. In a big, mostly empty parking lot. Well, you work with what you have. Let's never come here again. Don't have to convince me. I only came here because you wanted to. Well, Fort Lucena used to be something. 
Now Fort Lucena is over. Let's go. Let it die in peace. Let it die. I want to drive on the way home. Nope. Yeah, I'm pretty certain May doesn't have a license. It was nice to make B laugh. Bandit Queens. What's up, Dad? Heard you had a wild time last night. I didn't drink. It works better if you let me accuse you first. Right. Here's my hangover cure. Not drinking the night before. Wow, hold on, let me write that down. It's complicated, I know. What did you do tonight? Went out with B. You have a good time? Yeah, she's kind of... I don't know. Like, she's older. Like, much older. And kind of... sad? Well, she's been through a lot. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Would you mind moving the boxes in the crawl space? Oh, I can finally ask about that. Well, what have you done for me lately? Been an excellent daughter. That doesn't count. Well, would you watch some TV with me? Sure. Hop up. I'm watching Garbo and Malloy. Nice. Welcome back, folks. Hell of a show tonight. Say, Malloy. Yes, Garbo. Ever get the feeling that disaster's right around the corner? Sure do, right before we start the show every night. You superstitious, Garbo? Not anymore. What happened? I've broken every mirror I've ever owned. And now I'm lucky enough to never have to look at this mug. Yeah, but what about the rest of us? Well, that's a whopper? What? Is that like a catchphrase or something? Coming up next, Garbo and I join a cult. I'm guessing the boxes will be moved out tomorrow when I wake up? I mean, there's no way they're just like instantly moved out right now, right? Nope. Any new messages? Yeah. Hey, hey, dude. What did you... What did you do tonight? Nothing much. Stole something. For Angus? It's a surprise. Wow, what is it? Hold on for a sec. Oh, crap, I gotta go. Talk to you later. Okay, weirdo. You okay? Hey, cool mall times. Pretty cool mall times, yes. Hope he didn't make too much of a mess. With the fountain. Who's we? I was merely sitting there when I was assaulted with mall water. I will not rest until that fountain is brought to justice. Tell the world my story. They must know. Okay, I'm going to sleep. I hope the nightmares aren't too horrible. It is a trauma I shall bear forever. Another dream. Well, I think I'm going to save this for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.